Hi guys, welcome to another video. Thanks for all your comments on the previous video about learning how to prevent seasickness. It was amazing how many requests we got to please show this. Now, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to show you medications. There are many medications out there. Some work well, some not so well. A lot of that also depends on which country you're in. Some countries don't allow certain meds. From what I've researched, the best seems to be what's available in the UK, and it's called Quells. I'm no doctor, I'm just telling you from what I've heard, and I know of people who've used them and rave about them. Personally, I used to get extremely seasick as a youngster, and everybody seems to learn that by going to sea regularly, you do tend to become climatized to the motion of seasickness, and it does get better. Those of you who've been on yachts and travel at sea, it could be a day or two or even three days before you get over the seasickness. So that means your body does adapt. You don't need meds to do that. Now, the trick I use is exactly the same as what they use for the astronauts. It costs a small fortune to get an astronaut up into space. Seasickness can be extremely debilitating and very costly. He can't do his job. So NASA themselves use this technique. Now, it's all about making yourself climatized to motion. And I believe it's in the ear where you have these small little hairs that are affected by the fluid in your ear. So that fluid in your ear changes viscosity. When it's very liquid, it tends to affect those hairs more. Those people who have a very light fluid that moves easily are the ones that seem to be more prone to seasickness. As you move your body a lot on a boat, aeroplane, cars, that fluid will change viscosity and that comes with the motion and, and constant motion either be on a boat or whatever the way around this is to preempt all of this by doing the motion sufficiently to get that fluid to stiffen up in your ear now whether you turn around in circles or go on merry-go-rounds or any rides that will create this um, body action and create nausea will be good but there's a way to do it at home personally i do it prior to a trip i start three four five weeks in advance depending on the circumstances depending on how long previously had i been on on a boat and the trick is to get yourself to feel nauseous now the quicker you can get that the shorter the time span you need to do the exercise what's really important is to realize each day you do it you'll find you can do more revolutions of this motion that gives you an idea that you are improving um, if i haven't been on a boat for a year and i start with this exercise i can only do 10 to 15 and then i feel nauseous you never make yourself to that extreme nausea state that you actually throw up you don't want to get to that state obviously it's not comfortable as soon as you stop the motion, rest a bit, within 30 seconds to a minute, the nausea goes away. It's the same as if you're getting off a rocking boat and you stand on the shore, very quickly you get over that problem. So you'll find every day, just about every day, you find you can do more and more cycles. So I can start at about 15 to 20 at times, depending on when last I was on a boat, and I keep pushing it until I can do 150. So I'm gonna show you what I do. What we're simulating is a piece of string with a weight on it. Imagine throwing that around your body, creating a figure of eight. You need to follow that shape. I'll demonstrate with a flag. Imagine this is your string and you have a weight. If you throw that up in the air and swing it around, cross it over your body. As you can see, it follows a figure of eight. Now what you need to do is not do this, but imagine that pathway. So it travels to the left, to the right, and behind you. So what you do is follow that imaginary line up from the ground, up over the top, behind you, through again, up, down behind you, and up. You constantly do that, rolling your eyes as much as possible, turning your neck as much as possible. Obviously, if you've got a neck problem, not something you want to be doing all the time. So follow it up, roll your eyes up, roll your eyes back as far as you can, following that path all the way around. The more you manipulate your body and your eyes and your head, 
the quicker you're going to get to that nausea state, the quicker you're achieving the goal. I tend to do this in the mornings before I shower. I lean against the basin so I've got some gap behind me. You're going to be nauseous, you're going to be dizzy, you don't want to fall over. So I prop myself up, do the exercise. When I feel nausea, stop, rest a few seconds, get in the shower. By the time the shower is over, I'm 100%. If you do this each day, you will definitely find an improvement. Each day you'll be able to do more, four or five more. Eventually it'll start jumping even quicker, tens to 20 more per day. When you get to about 150, should I say when I get to 150, I know I've done enough. And if my trip isn't available or isn't going to be coming up for another month or so, I'll then give myself a week, do it again. And I'll only do it once a week to make sure I can still do 150 of these exercises. Now, most people I've taught how to do this have good results, but a lot of them find it too much trouble to do it. So to me, if I'm spending a lot of money on a trip and I'm going to be on a liverboard, I'm going to be sleeping on board, it's going to be rough, it can be extremely debilitating. I'm not going to enjoy that trip. So this exercise costs nothing. There's no meds. It's nothing but physical in your head. It's just time. And literally 10 or 15 of those in the morning take a minute or two. As it extends, obviously that will take longer. Three, four, five minutes maximum. That's all you need to do. What's really good about this, for one is these no meds, cost nothing. The big thing is about that stays with you. It takes a long time for that stiffness in your ear to become more fluid again. So if I have a six month gap and then I try again, I found that I might only need a week or so because I can do 50 to 100 before that trip goes. So keep testing yourself once you've got to that level prior to a trip. And I'll try it a month before, see how good I am. If I'm not getting to 150, I'll do it the next day and the next day until I get to 150. Then you can leave a week, do it again. That stays with you. It's not like meds. You take it today, 24 hours, it's out your system. You've got to take more meds. This is no meds, no cost perfectly natural and it works but you've got to put in that effort if you don't put in that effort it's not going to work don't leave it for the last minute but any effort will help so even if you've only got a week to go push it get through that nausea it's not a pleasant feeling for obvious reasons but it's a damn sight better than being on the boat and not being able to go ashore get your body prepped for it before the trip take time hope you enjoyed that video Please give us feedback, those that tried, and let us know whether it worked for you. Stand by for the next.